Hello and welcome to our BNT unboxing video. Today we're taking a look at the Nintendo 64 Rumble Pack. This particular Rumble Pack has a substantially large amount of battery corrosion. As you can see, the terminals are nice and green with little white crystals. Um, but we're going to open it up and see if we can clean this and repair it, um, and get it working like new. Uh, first thing we need to do is take a a screwdriver with a game bit on it and we're just going to want to turn this counterclockwise gently to remove the two screws um, don't use too much force it could break the plastic but just unscrew them and uh, turn them over tap them out and put them off to the side uh, we don't need to worry about those until the end of the process we'll pull it apart um, as you can see the motor is attached to the underside of the circuit board on the other side of it and uh, the front of that circuit board is very green, very corroded, um, and then there's some type of brown residue above the battery compartment. Uh, so this thing is going to need a lot of cleaning. Um, the first thing we need to do is remove the circuit board from the housing. To do that, we're just going to push down the spring for the battery terminal, and uh, with a little bit of gentle pulling, we can, we can get the circuit board right out. Um, and then, so, oh, yep, you can see on this side that there's some corrosion on the back and on those terminals, but also on the, the connector. So both sides of the connector that plugs into the, the controller are green and have some heavy uh, corrosion on them. So that's going to need to be cleaned up. Uh, but right now we're going to remove the, the motor from, from the housing. We're going to use the needle nose pliers and just gently but firmly remove the connector. Uh, it, the connector itself does move a little bit, so hold it down with your thumb and it will pop out. Uh, but we'll put the motor and the housing pieces to the side, because right now we're going to focus on cleaning the corrosion that is all over these pins. So remove the corrosion, uh, since this is alkaline battery acid or battery uh, corrosion, which is a base, we're going to need to, an acid to neutralize it. So we're going to use vinegar in this case. We're going to put some vinegar on a paper towel and just let it soak in there a little bit and uh, try and remove this corrosion that's built up over the years. Um, it's not going to be a 100% process, but the vinegar should make this cleaning job a lot easier than it would be without it. So we're just going to get this on the paper towel and we're just going to kind of blotch it and let's soak into the connector let it just you want to rub it all over try and try and clean it off at the same time as letting it soak and then we'll get out a toothbrush and see if really get in there all right so i added some lights so we can see a little bit better um, after some hard scrubbing, got most of the pins cleaned up. Um, however, the tips still have some corrosion on it, and the top side over here has some corrosion. Uh, the back side is a little cleaner, um, but some of these pads are getting are fairly worn down. So we're going to try and get a little pick and see if I can scrape off the rest of this corrosion before we move on to the other. I'm going to use a, a dental tool kit, like a pick. Uh, out of one of the little dental kits you can get um, and hopefully utilize the cleaning power of a pick and either scrape it or push off the corrosion. Um, it's going to be a little bit of scratchy sound so I do apologize for anyone with sensitive ears but it's kind of what needs to be done to get some of this corrosion off. So we're going to start at the, the top pins or we're going to start at on this side and just work over slowly scraping it off. It does seem that going pushing it from a side the side of the uh, the pick instead of the actual point seems to be actually getting a lot of the corrosion off better than than the tip was. Um, probably because it's a, a wider flatter surface well, that seems to be getting the job done. 
All right, let's flip it over and uh, repeat okay. the process on this side. This side. Um, again, using the, the flat edge of the pick seems to be working best. And just running up and down those, those connectors, um, uh, just ripping off that corrosion work. And we're just going to take the paper towel with some of that vinegar on it and just give it a, a polish up. And uh, we'll take a look and see, see how much of this has been cleared off. While we're at it, let's, let's try and get that brown gunk off. Some of it came off with the paper towel. Um, not all of it. It's a little sticky almost. It's kind of kind of a strange subject. We're going to spray on some isopropyl alcohol on here and just really get the board and clean it up. All right, yeah, that, that, that right there is taking a lot of that brown, sticky corrosion residue. I don't know what it is, but the board's getting cleaned up. Um, we need to change our attention to the corrosion on these connectors, these terminals. Do you be, uh, make note that these are thin pieces of metal and they do, they do move, they bend easily, so try to keep them in their original position. Not only does it help put everything back together, but it will help the batteries contact properly. And again, we're going to repeat the scraping process with these terminals. Um, there's not, it's not too bad on them, just a little bit surface stuff, so we'll just do a little scrape here and there. It's a little hard to scrape around the spring, but let's try, I want to get the corner of the pick at, down there and just get as much of the corrosion as possible, um, so that everything's making a, a good clean contact with the spring and the pad and the battery, you just want to be all connected. Let's just do a, a final scrub with the brush, just get anything loose out of the way and on everything. Alright, it's looking a lot cleaner. Um, not seeing any corrosion on the terminals and the board is looking clean. I think I think this one could be considered done. You know, everything's nice and shiny, shinier. Um, camera's not really staying focused, but let's put it to the side. And uh, we'll, we're gonna start with the next piece that needs to be cleaned up. We're going to take a look at the other battery terminal that's still inside the, the housing. Now this one is quite thick with corrosion um, and we're going to need to pop it out of the, the casing. We're going to use a small screwdriver and push it. There's a little notch on the bottom side of the, the housing that you can push it out. Um, I'm not sure what size screwdriver you need. Um, I'll show you the, not, the number on my Ace Hardware screwdriver. Not sure if that relates to a part number or a size, but that's the screwdriver fits perfectly and it will not. So anything bigger than that screwdriver uh, won't work. But you just kind of want to push it a couple of times and pop it out. Um, if yours doesn't have this much corrosion on it, it may slide out a lot easier. Uh, but this one needed a lot of force. And as you can see, it's uh, it's very dirty. It's uh, both sides are just covered in corrosion. So what we're going to do with this is actually sit it in a bucket of vinegar and just let it sit there for an hour or so and just let the vinegar do its thing. All right, but we're going to turn, turn our attention back to the bottom housing and remove any of the corrosion residue that is lingering along with cleaning it up just from the wear and tear of normal life that may have occurred. Um, for this, most of the, we're just going to spray the isopropyl alcohol on it and just get in their paper towel and um, toothbrush and just scrub away at it. Let's 
towel and dry off the uh, removing excess alcohol. We'll, uh, you know, remove that dirt. I'm trying to take the corners and the edge of the paper towel and just shove it into the grooves in the battery and get all the moisture out. Uh, all right, with that done, we're just going to put the cover off to the side uh, and take a quick look at the swab, clean the, the cover, the, the lid for the battery compartment. Um, same idea, I just want to scrub it up, getting residue off, and those two pieces are done. So right now, since everything's apart, let's take a look at the motor um, and make sure it works and not reassemble everything and have a bad motor um so we're just going to pull the motor out of the the housing it just slides out there's no um it's not glued or anything and i have some jumper wires that can fit into the connector um the wires that are on my power supply are too too thick so we plug some jumper wires into the motor and just connect the power supply up to it the power supply is set to the three volts that you see in the background um and since the Rumble pack takes two AA batteries. The maximum power the motor could ever have is three volts. It probably uses less than three volts, but three volts seems like a safe guess right now. And we're just gonna take these uh, connectors and tap them together to see if it moves. See if it jumps around once the power gets hooked up to it. So we'll take the, uh, well the white wire is going to the, the black wire on the motor. So we're going to black to black and red to red um, again the red goes to that ah, there we go it moved uh, the red goes to yellow jumper um, and, and we got some movement on here let's see if we can get it to move for more than a second just gotta these wires keep moving on me uh, almost had it at ah, there we go there we go all right so as you can see it's spinning quite freely um, so we know the motor is good to go all right, so let's take a look at this uh, back terminal piece that's been sitting in the, uh, the vinegar for approximately an hour or so. As you can see, it's a lot cleaner. Um, a lot of the plating has come off, so you've seen the copper underneath it. All the corrosion is gone. Um, I'm not really concerned about this. If you do want the plating back, you can do uh, electrolysis and get the plating back on. Uh, there are kits and people know how to do that, but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Copper is a good transmitter of electricity, and so it's come, it's all good for me. Since the corrosion is gone, I'm not going to worry about that, and we're going to start the assembly process. All right, so here's the board. We'll just take another look at it. I'm a little concerned about some of the pads on there being quite worn down, but really don't know if it's going to work until I try it out. So we're just going to reassemble it and go from there. So grab the piece. And, uh, oh yeah, we've got to put the motor into the, the housing first, and then we're going to have to connect that to the board, because the connector on the board, when you put it into the, it, its housing, the connector for the motor is on the bottom side, so you kind of have to do the, you got to connect the motor up first. So we'll do that, and uh, try and work on the orientation. There is a notch on the cable, so it can only go in one way, so that, that does make it easy. But uh, now I've got to figure out where to put the pieces so I can assemble this. Uh, let's, uh, okay, I got it. Um, it's a little messy, but it's not too bad. Just line up the board, line up the terminal pieces to slide that, not that little opening, and then, yep, that's it. So you need to just rotate the motor assembly part over around put the little knot tabs into its slots and uh, make sure the circuit board didn't move which it did for me just push it down and there you have it we're back together um, now we put the other terminal piece back into the housing and this one again you just push it down um, of course with no corrosion on it, it you even need to get centered but it's not not seem to be any difficulty putting it down. I'm just going to take a little object and give it a little shove to make sure it's locked in place. There we go. Nice and tight. Um, and put that cover on. 
and now the screws. So when you put the screws back in, don't, don't over tighten them. Turn the screwdriver slow and steady, and when it feels like it's skin, I don't even say hard, but you want to turn it when you feel the tension increase, that's when you want to stop. Um, since it's all plastic, you run the risk of breaking something if you go too tight. Alright, and now we're done. We've fully reassembled the rumble pack. Alright, so as you can see from that video clip, the rumble pack did not work as intended or at all. So before I start worrying about if the traces are all bad, I'm going to take a quick look at the um, the battery terminals to see if the correct voltage is, is going to the unit. Um, I know it's a long shot because I just replaced the batteries, but let's take a look at it. Alright, so it's coming up at 1.3 volts, and with two batteries it should be closer to 3 volts. Um, so clearly something's wrong. Um, I'm not sure if it's a bad battery or rust corroded terminal. Um, I know we went through and cleaned it, but at this point something's not working right. So let's go and check each battery individually sitting in the unit. So if there's any rust on the terminal, we'll see it. Uh, the first one comes up to 1.5 volts, so that is correct and good. Uh, this second one is giving us point negative 150 millivolts. So that first battery is potentially bad. Uh, let's swap it out with a, another battery that hopefully is working and we'll check its voltage. Um, we'll, we'll check it on the inside and see if that has changed anything. If not, we'll then check the battery individually. Alright, so we're getting 3 volts, so it looks like the battery was the issue. Um, and we're going to close this back up and see if it's going to work. Alright, as you can see, when, you know, Fox gets shot in Starfire, Star Fox, the Rumble Pack is kicking up and moving, so it looks like we fixed it. Bad batteries. Make sure you always check your batteries. Um, that could be the simplest fix. Thank you for watching this little teardown video on a Rumble Pack. Hope you found it enjoyable, and if you got any questions, please put them in the comments below. But like, subscribe, thumbs up, have a great day, keep gaming, party on. Bye-bye.